The next paper is going to be coming from Boston. Decrease in total aneurysm-related deaths intact and ruptured after introduction of endovascular repair. The presenting author is going to be Dr. Christina Giles. This paper is being presented from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Good afternoon. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present to you today. As you all know, the first endovascular aortic graft was performed by Dr. Perotti in Argentina in 1990. Following this, the first U.S. endovascular aneurysm repair was then done in 1992 at Montefiore. FDA approval was attained in 1999, and an ICD-9-CM code was assigned in the year 2000. Perioperative mortality associated with endovascular repair is much lower than open repair. Over 60,000 Medicare beneficiaries undergoing elective AAA repairs had a 4.6% mortality with open repair, while EVAR had a 1.7% mortality. This is consistent with prior randomized controlled trial results. Comparatively, ruptured aneurysm repair carries a much higher mortality risk, but the difference between open repair and EVAR is not as established. Dr. Kent's group showed a nearly 50% mortality with open repair, decreasing to just under 40% with EVAR. To evaluate the impact of the differential uh, mortality for EVAR for both intact and ruptured repair, we analyzed the overall aneurysm-related deaths from 1993 to 2005 in the United States to span the introduction of EVAR. We looked at both intact and ruptured repair overall volume, as well as ruptured aneurysms without repair. And additionally, we looked at trends in repair uh, methods, overall rupture diagnosis, and mortality rates. For this study, we used the nationwide inpatient sample from 1993 to the most currently available year, 2005. We captured all coded aneurysm diagnoses and all repairs based on ICD-9-CM coding. Over the time period from 1993 to 2005, there were over half a million aneurysms repairs performed. The number of repairs over the years has been relatively stable uh, when including all intact, ruptured, open, and endovascular procedures. However, when discriminating between intact and ruptured repairs, looking at mean annual volumes, you see that intact repair has increased as ruptured repair volume decreased after the introduction of EVAR. Elective repair ranged from 35 to 37,000 annually in the 1990s to 37 to 42,000 in the later years, while rupture repair volume was steady at 6,000 in the 90s and then fell to 4 to 5,000 in recent years. This graph of intact repair volume shows how EVAR volume has risen dramatically over the past few years and eclipsed open repair volume by the year uh, 2004. Here we report mean annual numbers to allow for direct comparison from the pre-endovascular era to the post-endovascular era. This again shows the increase in repair volume with approximately 2,400 more repairs performed in the post-EVAR era versus the pre. Despite this, the number of deaths attributable to intact repair have uh, decreased by about 500 annually. Looking at the trends of AAA-related deaths over time, you see that there was a trend toward a decrease in all aneurysm-related deaths before EVAR came into play. However, then is, there has been a more significant decrease in the rate of decline post-EVAR. This significant persists for total repairs, as well as by the individual repair method. Ruptured AAA diagnosis volume decreased by approximately 3,000 over the time period, uh, with a sharper decline as well after the advent of EVAR. Repair volume decreased concordantly, while unrepaired ruptured aneurysms uh, remained more stable. Along with the decreased volume, ruptured aneurysm-related deaths decreased by about 2,000 over the time period as well, with a sharper decline after the advent of EVAR. Repair-related deaths stayed static until 1999, then decreased significantly, as you see here. The number of uh, annual repair deaths decreased by over 1,000 from the year 1999 to 2005. Again reporting mean annual numbers for pre and post EVAR, but now for ruptured aneurysms. We see that compared to elective repair, the average number of repairs actually decreased in the post EVAR era by an average of about 1,500 per year. Along with this, there has been a statistically significant reduction 
in the number and de of deaths, as well as a decreased mortality rate. The total number of ruptured AAA diagnoses has decreased by approximately 2,000 annually. As shown in the previous slide, the number of deaths from ruptured AAA repair has decreased by about 1,000 per year with a mortality rate of 40 percent. At the same time, the number of deaths attributed to ruptured AAA repairs that do not get a repair, sorry, to ruptured AAAs that do not get a repair has decreased by about 500 per year as the number of admissions for rupture go down. As you can see, the biggest factor uh, still accounting for, rupture, for repair related deaths is from ruptured repair. However, significant decreases have been seen in both intact and ruptured repair deaths. Intact uh, repair deaths have decreased by about 800 annually, whereas uh, the, this difference is 1,100 with ruptured repairs. In the latest year analyzed, uh, the year 2005, for intact aneurysm repair, Open repair accounts for 44% of the overall volume, but only 75% uh, of the deaths. Comparatively, EVAR represents 56% of the volume, but only 25% of the deaths. This was less pronounced for ruptured aneurysms, where EVAR uh, accounted for 16% of the volume and 12% of the deaths. There are several limitations that must be addressed. Some stem from the fact that this is an administrative database and we are limited by uh, coding accuracy and inclusions. We also cannot discriminate between uh, symptomatic and ruptured AAAs or hemodynamic stability. Additionally, there may be changes in health patterns over time that may affect the incidence of aneurysm, such as blood pressure control, use of certain set, uh, medications such as statins and beta blockers. Uh, additionally, tobacco prevalence we know is decreasing over time. Recent advancements in aneurysm screening programs and population awareness may mean that more people uh, present for elective repair early. Um, however, finally, the age of the population is increasing, uh, making the fact that less deaths and ruptures are occurring even more important. So in summary, uh, over time we are seeing an increased utilization of EVAR, particularly for elective repair, but also for ruptured repair. Uh, there's been an increase in the number of elective repairs, while at the same time there's been a decrease in elective repair deaths and the associated mortality rate has decreased. As well, the number of ruptured aneurysms is decreasing, accounting for a decrease in ruptured aneurysm repair. And along with, there's been a decrease in the number of ruptured repair deaths, and the mortality rate has decreased as well. So in conclusion, the advent of EVAR has resulted in a decrease in overall aneurysm mortality with lower procedural mortality and less rupture incidents. I'd like to thank the Society and the members for allowing me to present today. Thank you. <laughs>